Hey guys, Crash and Burn 506 here, and today, um, I've actually had this app for a while. It's not the one you think it is. This is the paid version of the gun building app that I showed you a while ago. So, what's new? You got a whole bunch more guns. So, I'm just gonna, instead of going through customizing every single one of them, because there's so many it would take several videos, I'm just going to show you each one and how I've got them customized. So, you may recognize this one from the first gun building that I did. This is the M249. So yeah, nothing in it, and there's not much new with this one, but it is still pretty cool. Here's the M4. It's right now customized to look like my airsoft gun. And, yeah, it's just really nice. Now, I forgot to mention with the M249 that down in the bottom right corner, you can't see it because as of the way it records, there are there's a plus sign and a minus sign, and below it, it says speed times 1.0 in this case. If I press the plus sign, it goes, to, it goes all the way up to speed times 2.2. Let's go down to speed times 1.0 and reload. Now, by the way, this will not increase firing speed. Sorry about that. Now, let's go up to 1.6. And now, all the way to 2.2. Now, you can also go down from 1.0 to 0.5. Here's 0.5. It's almost like he doesn't know exactly what to do. I like to put it on 1.6 or 1.9, usually 1.6, because it's more like sleight of hand. Alright, and here's the AUG, or maybe you'd call it AUG, but anyways, so this one, now I've noticed with a lot of the animations, that happens. Here, let me slow it down for you. Watch the prime handle at the front very closely. Notice the little uh, prime handle does not move back. So, that's one uh, problem I have with this, but it's overall really nice. So, yeah, the AUG, it's got, you can have it 30 rounds in it, in it at the most, and it's pretty decent. So, yeah. This one you should also recognize. It's the scar. So, yeah. I turned it into a DMR, as you may see. So, yeah, pretty fun. Just fun to run around with, it is then shoot people. However, the latest update gave us an actual sniper, so I'm just using this as a DMR. Now, many of you may think that I'm just holding the uh, M4, but really this is the big brother of the M4. The M16. Now, that thing he pressed right there at the very end was actually the bolt release. It's also on the M4, but for some reason it, they don't, didn't decide to use that. So, yeah. By the way, this sight is my favorite sight, so I use it on pretty much all my guns. Now, on it, I've got a little, um... I've got a little underslung shotgun, which is called the Master Key. Yes, let's see if we can slow this down so you might actually see it. Right there. Now, for some weird reason, the hand goes through it. Either that or he's just got a huge hand. <laughs> I would save this gun for later, but... Nah. So, can you guess what this is? If you guessed minigun, you're correct. The M134. So yeah, there are, and there's actually another way that you end up holding it if you customize it a certain way. Right now I've got the one where you can like hip fire it and stuff. Here, let me real quick show you how I like it when it's a turret. Yeah, so here it is when I like and when I use it as a turret. It's all gold and stuff. <clears throat> and yeah. So and then you can aim down and stuff like that. It's really nice. I'm glad they have a minigun. So, yeah. 
Alright, with the G36, I'm going to show you one special feature that the first one, or some could call it the light or demo version of the Gun Building 2. One feature in Gun Building 2 is... Snipers. I mean, not snipers, silly me. Um, silencers. Sorry about that. So, yeah, it's got a silencer. Here, I can slow down the reload to show you. So, yeah, there's the silencer... And it's really nice that they you can that they actually work this time. So yeah, now you can't use this rail, believe it or not. So if you want like an ACOG, you have to use the typical G36 scope. So yeah, this rail does not actually work. The Picatinny rail you cannot use, but it's got some nice iron sights. Now this is my favorite gun of all time, and I want you to guess what it is before I go ahead and spoil it. Now you might, and this might be a spoiler already, but so have you guessed it yet? I'll give you maybe ten seconds. Okay, it's the P90. My favorite gun, well, at least my favorite submachine gun. And I'm not sure if it's my all-time favorite gun. I'm pretty sure it is, but, you know, I like the minigun. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, by the way, when you up the speed while you're still reloading on a different speed, it will make the sounds go weird, so... I love this gun, it's just 50 rounds on a submachine gun, and with almost rifle power, because it's bullpup. And that just means mega power. It can punch through almost every form of body armor. Well, not every form, it can punch through most of them. But, it's a really good gun, and I just like it. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can get it in airsoft. So here's the AK-47. As you can see, it's got my favorite sight on it. Um, and, if I slow down the reload for you, you'll also see that it is all blacked out. That's because I do not like the typical wood look. It's too flashy for me. So, yeah. I like it blacked out. More stealthy. That sort of thing. So, yeah. It's a really nice gun. And, I mean... It's not, I don't like the reload on the AK for anything, because, look, you have to tip it forward and then pull it backwards. It's a lot slower than the, M than the M4, or in terms of putting the clip in. And, yeah. So, yeah, I like the AK for its durability, but not really, but I, it's not my gun of choice. Here's the Mac 11. It is uh, probably my favorite machine pistol. You think that's fast? It's actually maybe one and a half times faster in terms of actual rate of fire because this thing unloads its clip in about um, maybe about uh, three seconds. Actually, I've timed it. It is three seconds now that I remember. But the real deal... We'll unload it in about two. Maybe just one and a half, even. And that's a 30-round clip. So, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty darn fast. So, 15 rounds per second is not something to sneeze at. So, yeah. Now, as you may notice, with this one, look at the little knob on the top. That's actually the prime. Watch closely. See if it moves. Nope, it did not move. So here is the OTS-14, I think it's called, or the actual name in its country of origin, origin, not Oregon, origin, its country of origin calls it the Groza. And 
if you saw it, to some people say it's the gross. It, it very, that's a very fitting name because it's the grossest thing they've ever seen in terms of guns. But that actually means thunderstorm. And just look at this thing. It's a bullpup AK. And yes, I put a dual clip on it or fast clip or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, so yeah, it's a nice gun in terms of firepower, like. Since it's bullpup, it's got the same length of barrel as the AK, except very, very compact. I put an ACOG on it. So, yeah. And if you had the real thing, it would be extremely loud because the action is right by your ear. <laughs> However, they didn't decide, and they decided not to uh, make that more realistic in this one. Alright, I want you to take a good look at this uh, XM2010. Look closely. Doesn't it look a little like a Nerf gun that I have? So, here, let me just show you what I mean. When I reload, look at this Nerf gun. And now look at this. It looks a little like the long strike, doesn't it? And sniper scope actually zooms, so that's nice. And I love the reload sound. Listen to this. Yeah, that prime is awesome sounding. So, yeah, it's a sniper, and I've got a silencer on it because it has a weird sni sound for a sniper when you fire without the, sil the silencer. All right, I'm recording this at night. Just kidding. Um, this is the, well, I don't even uh, remember the name. It's such a weird one. Hang on. Alright, it is the Suomi KP. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, anyways, it's a submachine gun. It's got 50 rounds in this little drum. However, you can give it all sorts of different magazines. And it's got a weird act, uh, a weird prime lever, or I'd say. But, anyways. I love that sound. That just, that sound is amazing. So, yeah, I put the... I put my favorite sight on it. Yeah, it's a good submachine gun. It's a great submachine gun for its time. I think this thing was used in World War II. Either that or it was just World War I. Alright, for this one I'm go uh, for this page I'm gonna go the reverse direction so I can show off my favorite handgun last. So this is the Lewis gun. A World War submachine gun. I'm not sure which World War, which is why I'm just saying World War. Well no, not submachine gun. This thing's huge. Look. It's a World War light machine gun. So. Now, for some reason, the ACOG can see right through the mag. That's the, that's the only sight that can see through this humongous 90 round mag. So, yeah. Alright. So here's the Spaz 12. Just look at this thing. Now, for some reason, when you uh, prime after each shot, if you just spam, if you're just spamming it, it'll there will be a wait after you prime. But slow it down to 0.8, and it'll fire right after you prime if you're spamming it. I mean, there's a slight wait, but it's not as bad. Let me blow up my couch. Yeah, there's a bayonet on this one, if you look. So yeah, I put a bayonet on it. It's just it's just for the fun of it. I mean, you can also put on a flashlight instead. So yeah. Alright, this is the TAR-21. This thing is a beast. Just kidding, it's not that much. Okay, that sound might, it may be, but it is just... It's a bullpup, which is one good thing about it. It's a majorly really good thing, because bullpups... Okay, the advantage of bullpups is compact size while having a very long barrel. Because the action is behind the trigger and behind the grip, the barrel length, length goes all, almost all the way down the gun. So yeah, that's the advantage of bullpups. Favorite sight on it, as usual. And an amplifier. So yeah. And this one, if I slow it down for you, watch this. Watch the little prime bolt. It actually moves! Alright, 
apparently, they never use the hand grips, which sucks. But, this is my submachine gun version of the ACR. Which takes a while to reload, unfortunately. But, nice thing is... And listen to that sound. Sleight of hand. So yeah, it it you know, the way I customize it kind of kind of looks like a submachine gun, and uh, it looks similar to the MP5K, but not exactly like it. Don't quote me that it's the MP5K. It's just it's actually meant to be a miniature version of the Scar. It's called the ACR, as I, you may have heard earlier. I just repeated myself in case you forgot. Here is the FAMAS. Now, this thing is one of the fastest firing assault rifles out there. As far as I know. I mean, it's... It's crazy fast. That is the 30 round mag. So yeah, and... As usual, sleight of hand is... It can be activated. And it's got my favorite side on it and that sort of thing. And it's got a foregrip that has a flashlight attached. It's called the M900. Yeah, I, the only reason why I know that is because it's on the... It's actually labeled on, build, on Gun Building 3, which does not have a recording feature. It's actually just a cool-looking version of this. I mean, you can build whole, a whole bunch of different guns, but you can't record. Alright, this 10 round to little tiny beast is called the P22. And I've got it on sleight of hand mode. Hang on. So here is the P22. Um, it's got an extended barrel on right now, but if you put that on without this little rail attachment, you will actually end up having a, a having two front iron sights. It's weird. It's got my favorite sight on it, of course, and it's got a laser. So yeah. Um, you can also put a bayonet on it, if you want, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, it doesn't have any other uh, um, firing mode except for semi-auto, which is kind of sad. So, yeah. Um, now, by the way, about the effects I mentioned earlier, every single gun can use the effects. It's just, I decided to show it with the Mac 11 for the heck of it. So yeah, this is, I think it's in, it's similar to a Glock, but not quite the same. Alright, and here's another shotgun. It is the Model 870. So yeah, I like this one a fair amount. It's just, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it, but obviously shotguns aren't everyone's thing. It's just nice that they have shotguns here. So yeah, um, it's... A really big shotgun. It kind of looks like a hunting rifle if you use the correct stock. Well, not rifle, hot, hunting shotgun, rather. So, yeah. Alright, here is the Model 500. Although it looks a little lo bit, well, quite a bit, like the 44 Magnum. I mean, it has the same sim uh, sort of look, but it's... The 500 Smith & Wesson, I believe. I mean, I think that's what it is. It's called the Model 500, but I think it's the Smith & Wesson, so. Yeah. Of course, you can increase reload speed. But that does not increase firing speed. I'm wondering why I have a black screen. is because I have a message. Before I show off the final one, I just want to let you know, this one is my favorite handgun and of all time, and it's 50 cal. If you don't already know what it is for me telling you that, well then, I'll just show you. I would like to introduce you to the Desert Eagle, officially the most powerful handgun in the world. You think the 44 Magnum is? You're wrong, because this thing has 50 cal. This thing is a beast. I mean, it is like... Uh, it's like uh, taking a... It's like taking the P-22 and putting it on steroids. It's like taking any typical magazine-fed handgun and putting it on steroids, because this thing is a beast. It, it is my favorite handgun. It is used by several 
several different into it is used in several different games as well as movies such as Mr. Smith or Agent Smith from The Matrix uh and it also or, or pretty much any of the agents um it lo it's also very famously used in Counter-Strike I mean this thing this uh, this thing is really good however it's limited to 7 round capacity doesn't make it an ideal sidearm However, it is usually something, as um, Tim from Red Wolf Airsoft would often say, would had said on his Desert Eagle Hard Kick by Tokyo Marui review, it is something you would probably dual wield. Which I think is a really cool idea. It would be really overpowered. So yeah. Now I've got a little sight on it. Um, and a, I've got a flashlight if you look. Now you can change the hand grip. And my favorite, my second favorite hand grip besides the regular black one. Yeah, sometimes I'm boring like that. I just like the look of it. Um, and the second favorite is basically just an American flag. Now I want to show you something very cool you can do with this Desert Eagle because you can actually add stocks. Let me show you something. All right, here is the cool thing. Now I just added the VP70 stock. Now most in effort in real steel. Adding the VP70 stock to the VP70 gives you three on burst. In this case, unfortunately, it doesn't. And this isn't a VP70, so it kind of makes sense, but still. So, yeah. And I put on the Murica uh, hand grip, as you may have noticed there. So, yeah, I just like the look. It kind of looks like the VP70 now, except it's a 50 cal version now. So, yeah. And a cool glitch. It, well, not really cool, but look. Look at my arm. It goes through the stock. Holy smokes. Is this stock a ghost or something? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's just, it kind of looks like a VP70 if you think about it, but not quite. So anyways, this has been Crash and Burn 506. I may not be the best, but I sure try my best. And it's, I, want, er, I just want to tell you that this gun building app, though it's 99 cents, it's worth it. I mean, it's gun building 2, with it, which is actually two eyes, just saying, Roman numerals, you know. So yeah, I love this, uh, this app, it's great recording system, and yeah, I have a lot of fun with it, just going around shooting people, and it's great for videos. So thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you liked it. It well no subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a like. I've ne and this is actually uh, you know, likes are actually the sort of thing people like. If you get my uh, meaning. Anyways, yeah, a like would be very uh, well and very much appreciated. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.